to the end of this program and from this program we have already know different aspects of this power grids and in this series of lectures we will also came across different subjects we will learn about different things so now today we have with us mr vishwajit vishwajit shengupto 1981 pass out from electrical engineering department i would 1981 pass out from this electrical engineering department i would like to request him to give vote of thanks hello uh professor in ghosh i see professor alok dash in the gallery uh professor devashish dotto i think he has left uh professor arindita shengupto srimati sunita dotto nag sri arvind rai alumni current students staff of kabisu uh it's my distinct honor and absolute privilege to stand before you today to give the vote of thanks in this first uh, of the series of legends and legacies and that to for none other than dr shankar shen my professor uh, a visionary a father figure and the kind of affection that he used to give us in is absolutely inexplicable before i actually give the vote of thanks i will just take two more minutes i know on all of you have been so patient here i am so tempted to share with you some uh, interesting anecdotes on dr shankar shen let me first tell you about what others thought about him i used to know a person his name is mr adinath chatterji he used to be a director uh, and i believe chief engineer at cesc calcutta electric supply i used to know him and he made a comment on dr shankar shen all of us who are electrical engineering students here know that electricity and magnetism go hand in hand dr mr adina chatterji made a comment on dr shankar shen and the comment was dr shen oh you are student of dr shen i said yes wonderful he can see magnetic flux can you imagine what that comment was he can see magnetic flux anyways another thing that uh, i would like to talk about him he he was a great administrator i i, I think he was the first one to introduce rotating head shape uh in this institution if i am not wrong he's the first one it's difficult to leave your position of power and he was one who just gave it up let others run the department as well there used to be a society called photographic society during my time and i'm told it's still there at that time it was with phones not digital cameras or anything digital cameras were something that we couldn't think of so as i used to be uh, i happened to be general secretary of that photographic society and we had arranged a, a, a photographic exhibition in kolkata invited all the professors dr shankar shen was the first one to go he applauded us for our efforts 
The next day, someone came to me and said, Dr. Shankar Shen is calling you. And I was actually surprised because what did I do wrong, kind of. So I went to him, to his office, and he said, you guys do a great job. How do you get the chemicals for, for your, do you develop the films yourselves? I said, yes, we print it and uh, do everything ourselves. So he said, how do you get the chemicals? I said, we go to Kolkata and buy it from shops. Who pays the money? I said, we pay the money. He said, do one thing. We get a grant. There is a lab in our department for which we get a grant. That lab, we are getting that grant every year, but then that lab is not functional. So bring back the receipt. You buy the stuff, bring back the receipt. I will make sure that you get money re grant. What a gesture. That's second point. Third, just the last uh, anecdote that I want to talk to you about. Dr. Shankar Shen and Mashima, I used to call her Mashima, Mrs. Sen, and mo most of us called her Mashima. Uh, they happened to come and join us in a picnic uh, in New Jersey. And we requested Mrs. Sen to say a few words. And she was very shy. She wouldn't speak. And then we said, well, talk about Dr. Sen. So she stood up. And at that time, Dr. Sen was the power minister of West Bengal. She said, what am I going to talk about your professor? He is now the minister. And one day it was pouring heavy. He was standing at the window and watching outside the rain. So Mashima asked him, what are you looking at? The rain for such a long time. And Dr. Shen's comment was, those who understand Bengali, I will first say this in Bengali because it has to be like, you will only understand it well. Uh, in Bangla, and then I'll translate it in English. But you will get the essence better in Bengali. He looked outside. It was torrential rain. And Dr. Shen's comment was, That's, He was the power minister at that time. And it's thermal power station. The coal was all kept outside and it all got drenched. So that was Dr. Shen. Anyways, uh, as I said, it's, it's, it's a privilege to be a part of his student, uh, to be a student of this stalwart person. And it's always great to come back to this institution uh, where we spent five years of our life. We didn't fail. Uh, it was five years, the last batch of five years. Uh, so we didn't fail. I wish to thank each one of you. I have named uh, 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 Professor Ghosh, Professor Dash, uh, uh, Ms. Dr. Nag, uh, Aurobindo Da, Professor Dotto, uh, and, and then the staff of uh, uh, Gabesu, thank you so very much for attending it. It's very encouraging to see a full house here. As Gabesu, we would like to uh, conduct such uh, such gatherings in the future as well. And uh, so, I, I really appreciate. We all appreciate your presence here taking time to come over here. And please uh, do continue to support this, uh, this endeavor uh, on our part. Before I conclude, no meeting is 
complete without eating. So there is some arrangement of eating here. Before you leave, please take a packet. Oh, there is tea also, so drinking as well. Thank you.